In this next tutorial, we're going to focus on how to use lists and also incorporate some randomness into our app. So from the Drake App Camp website, we'll still click on App Camp Part 1 and scroll down to the Magic 8-Ball section. Some files here to download, so right-click on magic8ball.jpg and save that to your desktop. Also save one of these three sound files and save that to your desktop as well. So I've already done that. So once we have done that, we can uh, click on the App Inventor homepage and again go to Create. And if you are already inside of an app, you can get back to that starting page by clicking this My Projects button. So at the Start screen, then we'll click on a new project. Let's call this Magic 8-Ball. All right, great. The first thing I'm going to do is drag out a button. I don't like the name Button 1, so let's rename that and call that Magic 8-Ball button. And I'm going to change its image to be that picture that I downloaded. So let's go ahead and upload those files from the desktop. Get the magic 8ball.jpg and get one of those sound files. In this case, that cha-ching sound. Great. So I have those media files available to me. I'm going to, for my magic 8ball button, change the image to be that magic 8ball.jpg. All right, great. It's a little bit big for this screen, but I think on the phone, on your phones, it'll be just fine. And then also I'm going to delete that text for the button. All right, good. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually use a label. And a label is just basically a placeholder for some text. I'm going to rename this label to be a question label. And I'm going to change that text to be Something like ask the eight ball a question. Good. You can change the font size or the font color if you want to. Let's bump this up to base, it'd be 20 or so. Good. Then I'm going to use another label down here. I'm going to rename that to be the answer label. And we're going to have the initial text for the answer label to be something like um, press 8-ball to receive an answer. Good. And maybe this font will go up to uh, 24 is a bit big, maybe 20. Good. So that's basically you know, kind of the appearance that I want. I also need to have that sound, of course. So let's drag a sound out to that and we'll call this um, some sort of noise sound, say. And make that source to be the cha-ching sound. Great. So I want this to be like a, an 8-ball app so that when you press the 8-ball, you'll see an answer here after you supposedly had asked the question to the app. All right, so let's go ahead and now connect this to your phone. So you can see... The this is our app so far. Pretty good. Next, let's go and click on the Blocks button to get to the Blocks editor. What I want to have happen is that once the Magic 8-Ball button is clicked, I want a couple of things to happen. First, I want the sound to play. It's kind of like you're shaking the 8-Ball. And the next thing I want to have happen is that label down here to change, to be some random answer that uh, someone has asked to this 8-ball. This okay, so a new concept here is I'm going to have to use a list. So I can make a list by using this block right here. So I'll just drag that out right into the empty space right now. This, notice, only has two spots for lists right now. But I want to have, say, four or five answers. So I'm going to click on that little blue gear here, and I can then drag, you know, few more items into that list and you can see how now I've got four spots that I could have elements in for this list. That sounds pretty good so I'm going to click on the white section now to make that go away. Now I can make a list with four elements inside of it. This list is going to be basically just four different strings or four different you know, sayings. So I will 
crowd for the, for these guys? And so one might be the answer could be yes, the answer could be say no, and you could fill in the rest. One little shortcut here is this takes a lot of clicking and dragging, but if I just click the white space on the background and start typing something, that automatically then creates uh, an appropriate block. So um, I can that can help save some time when you're coding like this. Great, so this is going to make a list. Good. But what I want to have happen is that element of that list to change this thing, this label down here, that label known as the answer label. So I'm gonna click on the answer label and notice there's lots of different object, uh, options here. I wanna set that answer labels text to be one of the elements from that list. And so I'm gonna find this block here that says set answer label dot text and drag that out. So I'm gonna actually plug that into this event handler. When the magic eight ball button is pressed, it's gonna make this noise sound and then it's going to set the text for that answer label to be something. Now I can't quite just plug in the, the list here because I need to select one of these elements from that list. So if I go to this list drawer again, I'm going to pick a random item from that list like so. And now I'm in pretty good shape. So now I can go ahead and test the app once that's in place. Click the app, bu the, the, the button here. That makes a sound and notice I got one of the answers. I can click it again it happened to be the same answer this time. You get the idea. So this is kind of like a Magic 8-Ball app. Great. So we've seen a lot of different elements here. We can make lists. We can set different texts. We can use the voice, the text-to-speech. Um, so the next step is for you to make some sort of original app. There are lots of different possibilities. You could create a name picker, for example, for your classroom. Have a list of all the students that could randomly choose one person in that list and have their name appear on the app. Or you could create a Mad Libs app, which could randomly generate a noun or a verb or an adjective or an adverb from a different list of, of objects. Um, you could have use the, the text-to-speech to actually speak out the answers for your apps. So lots of different possibilities. The next step is to, after you're done making that Magic 8-Ball app, to go ahead and make an original app. Have at it.